Hey, what's up? Um, check out this cool cast of characters. Uh, it makes me so happy. It makes my heart so happy to see how they all have their little spot to shine. And uh, this is, you know, welcome. This Welcome to my Final Fantasy IX party. I'm so excited to put these guys to use. Well, Queena, I wish I, I wish we could just swap somebody else in there. Um, CG Dagger, you listening? Um, but for now, you'll, you'll do, and your dancing is going to be distracting. I'm going to do my best not to be distracted. But first, um, oh yeah, so the agenda today is to um, to go tackle the Aoife Tree missions. <sighs> There's a couple at difficulty 150, which gets a little dicey for me, and especially when I'm doing it with a theme party. And you kind of have to work around, like maybe that uh, should stop making excuses. But, um, but first, dude, let me tell you about it. I went to the market yesterday, and I wore one of those crazy high grade masks for the first time. I didn't think about it until um, until yesterday because now they want us to wear them. I was like, well, where am I gonna get one of those? And I thought about it. And I was like, whoa, my brother um dumped a bunch of stuff at my house for you know carpentry stuff like there's a freaking like table saw or circular saw one of the saws in my garage and so it occurred to me that like maybe that would have been a thing there as well and so yeah i happened upon a package of of 3m uh and n95 is that what they are masks and there was like three in there um so i'll be good for um at least three trips to the grocery market or i don't know whatever um but uh that thing doesn't fit me very well. Uh, I have a hard time actually even finding glasses that fit my face, but I put that on. It's it's really problematic because it makes me super sleepy when I'm wearing it. Um, and then also, if I try to look up in the store to see the signage, I can't read it because the mask is like blocking my my view. So there's a lot of bad things um, about it, but also you know, a lot of good things, right? Um, being responsible. Um, but, uh, pretty much the worst thing is that anytime you pass someone who's not wearing a mask and they like smile, you can't really smile back at them. Like you smile in your mask, but for me, it takes up my entire face. So, um, yes, the eyes can shine, but I just feel really guilty, like not returning a smile to them. And so as I was going through the market, I was thinking to myself, like, well, what can I do? Like, maybe I should just wink. Maybe I should wink at people. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Is that weird? Like, oh, people can get weirded out. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I am gonna. I got to do it. I got to do it. So, I, you know, in, in in the line when I was like, you know, paying for all my things and like trying to make small talk. And it's actually really hard because I have, I'm really try, trying, trying so hard to like project my voice, um, which is hard to do when you're wearing a big freaking mask over your face. But I did it. And then as I took my groceries and said, thank you, I winked at him. I did it. I did it. I winked at him. And I actually think I made him extremely uncomfortable. So I'm not sure um, if this is a good thing to do or not. So if this sounds remotely useful or like something you might want to try, um, just to be able to share a bit of, um, I don't know, um, spirit with the folk around you, try out a wink. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to work out well for you. It could actually probably lead you to a fist fight. I don't know. But um, but that's what I'm going to do. That's all I have. That's all I have to add. And actually, I'm kind of like a weird sneaky winker anyway. Um, I, winks seem to slip, slip into my daily routine um, in really awkward ways, and I can't help it. It just comes out. So anyhow... Um, that's, that's my gift to you is this idea that, you know, if you can't smile, try a wink. All right. Let's go into the vortex and check out this Eva tree. I've got my final fantasy nine party all set up to take on two difficulty 150 missions, which I'm very nervous about. Um, but first let's go in on this one. Um, what do you want to say? Um, you want to say that this enemy Emony, enemy specializes in fire, t fire magic attacks. Crap, I didn't, I didn't do anything for that. Endurance attacks with a tank. I'm not bringing a tank. That can withstand magic attacks and take precautions against its fire attacks so as to avoid heavy damage. Okay, probably won't go well. Let's try it. We gotta, we gotta get it done with these guys. And then we get a bunch of these talents and that saves me the grind, right? That's the purpose. If, if this fails miserably the first time, um, I'll grab, I'll grab a friend. I promise I won't subject you to a bunch of idiocy for too long. Um, all right, let's go. Hmm. 
I'm spilling on myself. Shoot. All right. Here he is. Soul cage. All right. First move. We got to just set up, right? We got to set up for the good stuff. Um, and if you're wondering, I have uh, the latent abilities on Beatrix and Ico. I definitely pursued those. So um, they are there. Um, and I did um, a bunch of awakenings as well. Or enhancements or etc. So there's so many things that could go go well for me here. We'll see. Let's lose it. Let's use Invincible Sword too because <laughs> it's a latent ability. It must be strong. And then I go with your latent. Uh, yeah, let's boost our, our fire resistance because he's going to do fire damage. So we're on to you, Soul Cage. And Mighty Guard because I really think that's the only thing you're good for. I'm not going to bother loving Link leveling you up um and then hmm, hmm. let's go do focus magic and hmm. and maybe just maybe quadruple wall wall because that will um reduce magic damage um coming our way and then lunatic aura i guess yeah uh, oops. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's see what happens. Please, please, please. No mustard bombs. Calm down, guys. It's alright. Alright. We're all good. Everyone here? Everyone's here. Perfect. Alright, let's make some magic happen. Uh, wow. Um... Boost with uh, that's not good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, I'll let it guess. Um, um, MVP? Who's that gonna be today? Am I gonna get this wrong? I'm gonna go with Beatrix because she's my MVP. Um, alright. Now, this is where we're gonna go crazy. Quadruple magical potential. Um, well, he reduces dark resistance, but does he even have a dark damage move? I don't think so. That's strange. Um, okay. I guess we'll just try ice because it's the opposite of fire. Um, you all on board with that? And then Iko can do passionate performance. And Freya, about a good old um, mm, Demon King's Frank Strike. I mean, it takes 76 magic points, it has to be good. And then uh, Beatrix, my girl, probably we already boosted ourselves. Um, we already reduced light and resistance. Um, so how about uh, 60 magic points, uh, Saken, Clem Hazard, and Saken Stockbrick? Alright, um, go to it, fools. You're actually not fools at all. You're a really cool party. I like you a lot. Um, I do look forward to replacing Queen Out with CG Jagger, though. Someday, right? Someday. Alright, get down there. Thank you. All right, that was sweet. That was a great jump. Good jump. All right, so now... Oh, are there any missions that we should be looking at? Let's go check. I didn't even check that up. Where are they? Options. No, get out of here. Hmm. How do we get out of this? Stomp. Back. Okay. Um. Okay, here they are. No more than 15 items. Within 50... Okay, this is the one that's like, you know... If you can't do this, you don't deserve these items. So, um, that's, that's just great. We can do this. Um, what have we been doing? Ice or something? Um, but she should really be doing light damage, right? Do we want to do Rose Finale? Um, can somebody tell me later if we want to be doing Rose Finale? It's not Awakened, so it kind of feels like it, it shouldn't be that good. So, hmm. Um, let's just do... Shake and shock? I don't know. 
it's kind of under the radar there without having enhancements, but I think I keep seeing its name and everything. So we'll do that. And then again with the ice, because we decided to go ice, um, let's stick to it. Um, she is going to help us uh, revive, I suppose. Um, where is it? Uh, crypto performance. There we go. And I guess mighty guard again. Yeah. And then hopefully should this should do it. So it shouldn't be shouldn't be anything to worry about so much anymore. Uh, yes, go 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 go. Keep going. Come on. Yes, thank you. All right. Hmm. <sighs> One down, one to go. Oh, it feels good. All right, so let's make sure we got everything and um, can celebrate in kind. Yes. Oh man, I'm gonna put those Draco zombie talons to use. Don't you forget it. Or don't you worry about it or one of those things. All right, now auxiliary quests, you're calling my name. I wonder if you're going to be worse. I don't know. Let's go look at this strategy. Ah, oh, you're a disgusting serpent. Relvamago, um, a powerful enemy that uses attacks which strike all members in your party. Hmm. Infic inflicts status ailments and replenish its own hit points. I don't like guys like that. No, that's not cool. Um, replenishing is super irritating. Attacking it while it has its guard up will result in a powerful counterattack. So watch your timing when dealing damage. That's a lot to remember. It is weak against ice. Oh, see, we were just doing ice damage. This is perfect. So bring units with ice attacks. I got it. And abilities to deal substantial damage. We're on. We're on top of this. Um, and Strange Gormon Queen is going to learn something in fine print that I can't read. Um, but but she'll learn it. And it he, she will learn it. Um, all right. Do, do it within five turns and without an ally being KO'd. Those, well, we'll see. Don't need any of you, because I'm I'm cool enough. We've got this. Let's do it. I'm sorry, were you guys hoping to see like some crazy trial? <sighs> no. Oh, I like how it said learning. She's taking he he she's taking notes. Okay. Um that's let's uh let's do the same thing we did last time. So if you were hoping to see maybe a different thing, you've come to the wrong video. We're gonna do the same exact thing we did last time. Um, so maybe you wanna mute this or fast forward this, because uh, it's certainly, certainly not gonna teach you anything new. Do you guys hang out here to learn anything new? Kinda wondering. All right, do, uh, mm, no, do, get back here. Focus magic and quadruple wall. And Lunatic Aura, Ico, Mock Support, because it's a latent. Latents are good, right? That's all I need to know. Oh, Thundar, what? Ooh. All right, we're all good. Um, let's see. Next, we're going to go straight for that ice. Even though I don't think we have an apparel, uh, but that's all right. Um, okay, so now, Miss uh, Beatrix, um, double psych, and what do we say? What do we like to do? Um, well, let me check, make, let me make sure I'm not, okay. Um, let's do these two again to break this Ralvumago, wait, no wait, Ral, 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 Ral and, um, which one did we like? Damage and um, I think we liked Fang Strike, which actually is totally apropos for this snaky thing. So let's do Flame Strike, whatever that's called again. And then I go. Uh, hmm, passion Performance. Um, she has a very passionate performance when Sedane's in the party, but. For these guys, maybe not so much. Um, anything fancy you can do? No, not really. So, what do we want from you? Auto life on... For this battle? Hmm. 
I might say, I might say Vivi, because he, um, he's got that ice, ice stuff. I stamp my magic damage. Mm. All right. All right, you guys ready? Let's see how this goes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that was a nice fifth. All right, hold up, guys. Just chill for a second. Just hang on. Yeah, you get down there. Thanks, Freya. All right, now my girl Iko is going to restore with her crypto performance. This is really just a copy paste from the last battle. Why are you still here? Um, and then quadruple magic from this guy. Mm -hmm. There it goes. I'd just like you to, to note that I don't have a tank. Um, I know, right? Uh, we'll put on Mighty Guard again, just, you know, in case. And then, ooh, I, could, I guess I possibly, what is her limit first do? Rose and Mage. Um, we could do Vivi and then, like, use her limit. Well, listen, it's just not. Um, we want to do, we want to get you guys out of here. Um, all right, boo, smash, man. Um, mm, second shock, that worked good, right? Mm, I guess. Um, okay, ready, set, go, guys. Do your thing. Which toy doesn't match at all. Get it there, get it there. Oh no, oh no. Power of the land. Ah, the land's got a lot of power. Oh no, he's he's healing. Well, we learned about that. I should have known. Oh no. Um, but we've got the Rose of May. And um, Freya can do Fang Strike again. And Iko can do a Limit Burst. Oh, Phil Sun Engage. Do we want to do that? Hmm. I don't think they have any reductions, but let's go look. You guys having field wins? None. Um, how about you? Oh, sweet. That's the wrong thing. Um, no. No. Um, so we don't even have to do this one. Let's instead... Well, is there anything else? I guess it feels... Yeah, let's, we might as well do it. Let me burst it there for a reason, right? And then... You gotta do your ice again. Oops, not with double, with quadruple. And get that on top of things. And mighty guard again. Eh. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ravel Mungo. Mago. Whatever your name is. Hmm. Didn't go as, as well. Oh no, but uh, Freya's still coming down. Um, hold up. Stop it. Oh, well, I hope there was no requirement to, to not die or have a KO'd person, but take that, Snake. Freya just uh, slayed you. We get snakes around here. People like to people like to really take them out. I didn't. Last time I saw a rattlesnake, I called a snake guy, and he, and he came and he trapped it. And he took him out into the woods. And I think he released him, at least that's what he told me. Um, it's very possible he made um, Snake Snoop snake soup but um i'm gonna believe that he released him because it makes me feel good in me heart okay well didn't get the tough pot you guys think i'm okay with that you know i'm okay with that all right well this was this was great this was successful this was 20 minutes long so you're welcome um but um i will just say this um when you go out with a mask don't forget that, you know, the smile is something that we as humans enjoy exchanging. It's a nice, it's, it's a pleasantry and I think, and I think our hearts and our spirits appreciate it. I'm not a smiler, but, um, but I've noticed that when I have a mask on, I feel like, you know, um, it's, it's like, you know, you want what you can't have kind of a thing. So, um, give a wink, give a wink. And if you think it might brighten someone's day, um, or creep someone out, it's all good. Um, right? It's all kind of a little bit crazy, so um, be a little crazy. All right, cool. Said too much, talking too much. I'm getting out of here. Um, I've got, I've got, um, I've got things to do. Okay, goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>